Peace. This is a meat and potato sorcery production starring myself, the Warrior Alchemist. And today's topic for the occult family is your ex is your hex. Here are some keys with the remedy of why you may be struggling in your relationship as far as moving on as well. This can pertain to a marriage that pretty much has been over with maybe over a decade ago. So with that, let's get into it. And they talk about, and I'm saying they, it's a perception or view about communication. Communication is very important in a relationship or a marriage. The problem is, is the depths of the communication. If you aren't respectful of a person's feelings and you're being honest, you're setting yourself up for failure because it kind of reminds me of Dave Chappelle when keeping it real goes wrong. You will say something honest, but you don't take the person's feelings into account or their social orientation, how they were brought up. Because if you're dealing with a person that comes from a toxic or dysfunctional environment, that's normal to them. You have to understand that. And sometimes, like with anything else, who you started out as in the relationship, that's not who you're going to become later on. And I'm going to say this especially for men. Women have ways of catching men too. It's just about, okay, I'm going to be this way when I'm dating him. And you're in the so-called courting phase. And then when you get the person that they actually are, you're like, wait a minute. Now, I, I don't know if I signed on for this. These things happen too. So, Communication is very important, but these are some reasons besides that why it ends. When a man or a woman starts making plans and they don't include you at all in those plans, check. Another one is if you are struggling or the intimacy has pretty much died a horrible, grisly demise, you have to have intimacy in a relationship, whether it's sexual or touching or just flirtation. You don't have those. Problem. And another thing that let's say you do end with that person. What ends up happening? And this is the worst thing you can do. And mentor has done it. Do not listen to me. Do not hold on to any photographs of that person. Because that is just going to drive you into a psychosis of what could have been instead of what is. You don't want to be with somebody so long in a household that basically look at what you've been reduced to. You're nothing more than glorified roommates. I don't want any person, whether it be a young lady who's a subscriber or a young man. I don't want you to be that type of young man where you sound like. Tyrese Gibson from Four Brothers. She is my girl. I don't want you talking like that. If somebody really loves you, you don't fight over them, but you fight to make sure that the love displays the highest form of metaphysical integrity. That's what you do. And you have to get this through your head. Sometimes everything is not going to have closure. It's just over. That's it. Because if somebody doesn't want to be with you, they're going to show you they don't want to be with you. And I don't want you to be broken in the shell of yourself. And then you become the source of someone's entertainment. I can't believe he's with such and such. Couldn't be me. So, you know, before any spirit gets involved to help you when the situation is over, dead, never coming back. So. Don't keep photographs. Don't don't get involved in self-flagellation. Don't keep photographs. And two, it takes two to make any union work. If both parties are not working, it doesn't matter how much history you got paying the bills. You have children together. We ha we got this house together. Because if somebody doesn't want to be with you, guess what? They're eventually not only going to let you know, they're going to make sure that someone will fill your shoes 
adequately. And people say, well, she isn't seeing anybody, this, this, and the other. I didn't say she was seeing somebody else. I did not suggest that he is. They're looking for a viable alternative. So they keep you around just in case because their antennas are up. Any even time that you've been hurt, your antennas are up. So you ain't let nobody else fail you. So if this person does even one thing wrong, oh, they'll hold on to you. You're the just in case. Now, those are the socio-psychological reasons that many suffer when the union is over with. But let's get into the occult perspective. What they won't discuss with you, that the reason is hard sometimes to move on. Anytime you are with a person, irrespective of the affirmation reasons that I've given, you form a psychic link with that person. So let me be very crystal with people. In other words, there's an astral chain linking you and that person. So it is very, very possible, especially if they're an occultist or they just have natural talent when they came to this third dimensional plane for them to go into your dreams and vice versa. So sometimes when you like, oh, why am I dreaming about my ex? Or I don't even like them like that no more because astral chains last one year up to the breakup. And if they have a dream walking talent, it can exceed that. So who can you work with to get you over that? Besides Archangel Raphael, a good person to work with. And I'm going to give you two. One is Belef from the Oz Goetia. You can work with Belef. And you also can work with Lilith to help you get over someone. And then there's a Mexican folk magic technique. You take an egg and you basically rub that on your genitalia. You rub it as many times as you feel comfortable and your higher self will let you know. And then you discard said egg. If you don't do this, your so-called ex-fiance, ex-husband, ex-man, ex-woman, they will continue to be your kryptonite. And we all know what kryptonite does to the best of supermen and superwomen. So with that, that is your meat and potatoes sorcery for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.